Well, the site that many call the loudest in the NFL. Who is this? Inside GEHA Field. Man, you know who the fuck is this? Man, this is Maury, man. We've got a good matchup on tap. Man, you know. You know what it is. Oh, god dang. No, it didn't. It done started already. Set to go started in on me already. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. Pulls it in at the 13. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to a Yo, that's my squad, man. That's the only team I play with. Yeah. Was... <coughs> They're just getting better. <coughs> They went out and got CJ, DJ. Well, I mean, they had they had JMO. That's why they got they got somebody to stretch the field already. Oh Lord! God dang. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised if we get pressure on this snap. Brown getting out of the way. There's an early third and ten. There's gone. And that's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here we go on four. Goal. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. Taking it right down. Get low, Dingo. Touchdown, Detroit. The cut with all down. The underdog here showing no fear. Great opening drive. Lord and mercy. Game speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way the head coach said, Let's just grab a big stick and, that, and let them know we're gonna be here today. They may be the team that's raised on big, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And these folks wasting no time out there today. It's up, it's good. Doing their job. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Fields this way up at the 17. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage. And frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now what a first down pickup of eight. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. They go play action. Now Mahomes rolling to his right. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold the defense right there by two downs. Up second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. I've yet to play someone that was undefeated in this game. <laughs> Play 
action, it's Mahomes. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this is caught inside the five. A big play there for KC. 47 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll try to run this one in. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Mahomes quickly complete out wide. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes fighting Miko Hardman. And the Chiefs are able to match the opening drive touchdown against him with one of their own. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. On second and ten, go off. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And he stopped right at the 25 after a game of five. Uh, so you're not here with the hand with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they're trying to do here on the drive. Right? With this speed, he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. And that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Someone sharp in this game. He had a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drills when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Goff now looking to throw. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. First carry for DeAndre Swift. Gets through, and now an opening. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Detroit! Kurt fucking around today. Kurt ain't fucking around today. Oh, I'm gonna take you. I got, I got reservations. <laughs> when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get you see his feet, the ground. dude? It looked like Fred Flintstone in the hole. Kurt Flintstone is in the hole, bro. Kurt Flintstone is in the hole, bro. That's good. Good job, DeAndre. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. Super Bowl preview. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. 
Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. He'll get this up to about the 44. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Going for the deep ball, and that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. To throw again on second down. Mahomes, he's going to take another shot here. And that will be Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. on the quarterback with contact that's how you end up winning it Took a big time chance. Yeah, big time first half chance. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Mahomes now on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On second and ten, Mahomes. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. That's going to be caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that oh, not no. wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Throwing now 
was Mahomes. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Afitu Melifanu. He's at the 50. The 30. 10. And he will bring it back. And intercepted. That was tight. No, no. <laughs> So from one end zone all Boom. the way. He did it right out of his hand. Look at this. Ooh. The excitement that that play generates for his team. Not just the points on the board, but the momentum and taking it from coast to coast, end zone to end zone. What a tremendous play. Now get that man an oxygen tent. That's <laughs> your boy, Old Mo. You said momentum, right? Old Mo, he, I think he's kind of limping across at the end because of that distance, but he made it. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it's now 21 to 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fields this way up at the 17. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. The last time, everything looked pretty good except that final play on the pick six. And now they've got to come right back out here, Charles, and try to pick up the pieces and get things going again. Yeah, it certainly seems dire, doesn't it? But there is a silver lining, and it is hard to see so soon after that touchdown. But the game plan was definitely working. They were generating offense, had the ball beyond midfield, getting wins on each down against the defense. So they are moving it well. They just have to hang on to it. As you said, though, probably tough to remember those good things on that last drive when it ended like it did. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Down to about the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to pound that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. the pickup of four here's second and six they fake the give now Mahomes steps away that ball is caught Marquez Valdez Scantling and it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 14. stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain first down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Already down two scores. They're going to go for this rather than settle for three. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They Come on. Kaboom. Boosties. Kaboosties. That's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And 
I'm ready right now, man. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Showing some tough running there. Well, Jerry is Sneed up to make the play defensively. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On second and nine, Goff had his hands on it but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake on third down. On any pass in the middle of the field, anyone who's going out to the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested. They're often physical. Sometimes that leads to drops. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Goff now looks to throw, and that will be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. This is fielded at the 27, and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. All right, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there. Trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he has got it from 55 Ooh, yards let's go. away. That was never in doubt. And this cool is going down tonight. A bit more. It's 24 to 7. This cool is going down tonight. The early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. offense out of the huddle ready for their next drive well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit a three-score game Charles but look there's plenty of time to go here the old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once they probably need something though out of this drive at least three points are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on 
that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive. But maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. This defense is just flat getting after him. They were yoking. They were yoking. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's going to get this down near the 25. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Touchdown! Patrick Mahomes fighting Miko Hardman. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Now they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. From the 27, Goff. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in the end of the This defense coming out after the half. And if that comes in, the indicator tries. Maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch. We're back now in KC. It's the Lions holding on to the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, 
They want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. From the gun, here's Swift. And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. The 71 yards on the ground here for Swift. He's got a first down as well. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Gardner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. On second down, Swift. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. They will run it with Swift here. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick in the game forthcoming from the left hash. A chip shot here. Badgley able to punch this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps try to salt this one away in the four. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And a short kick taken at about the 16. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Ball. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mahomes will throw. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Complete Valdez Scantling. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. 43, 43. Here's Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Mahomes to throw it. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side. Get that high score. And hope that one of the guys can come up with it. On the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now. 
out, oh, there's a penalty flag down. A big mistake in that spot. You gotta let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. They had an opportunity, touched it first. Now, they're in a really bad spot. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shot of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Once again, it's Swift. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Here's Swift. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Swift will try up the middle. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Third and goal from the six. And he is going to lose yardage here. On fourth down, goal. And this is caught. And that Come on, baby. Seal it. It's a touchdown. Come on, baby. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. So the Lion offense staying on the field as they're going to try for two. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation. This time, unsuccessful. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball or at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Situation. One final try for Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Lions come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted.
my Brooklyn cause he shot rock. South side, C12, 911. Good to the reality, we still outside. Bond on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex know they ready. See, we were not a ride nobody way. We the ones who started with it. Translation. Yanni had to buy Yanni at Yanni hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go with it. Uh-huh. That's how you know we lit. Yeah, yeah. Grrr. Uh -huh.